Assalamu alaikum to everyone. This is the video Sufia. I welcome to you in my YouTube channel and Alhamdulillah I hope that you all are fine. In this video we will solve a few questions from the matrices. You can see I have written here the short answer questions carrying the four marks. The first question is if theta minus phi equals to pi by 2. These are the Greek letters, the theta and this is phi. It's Q1. Generally, we are using these letters to represent the angles. You can see it is theta minus phi equals to pi by 2. This is the given. Then show that this matrix into this matrix equals to 0. That means we have to expand this side, that is the left side. We will expand it, we will simplify it so that we will get the answer 0. Here, if you will see the difference between the two matrices, it is here the angle is theta. In every, in every member you can see here it is theta, theta, theta. Uh, whereas in this matrix you can see it is phi. So what we will do first. We will change this theta in phi so that it will be easy for us to solve. Look at the board. It is first I will write given what is given theta minus phi equal is to pi by 2. So I will make the theta as subject that is this implies theta equal is to pi by 2 this minus phi I will transpose here it will become plus phi now I will change the cos theta I will see the cos theta equals to cos of in place of theta I will write pi by 2 plus phi you can see pi by 2 plus phi this is the second quadrant in the second quadrant cos is not positive cos is negative so I will write it's minus sin phi then I will write cos square theta equals to square of this minus sin phi square that is sin square phi and next I will check the sin theta you can see here sin theta equals to sin of in place of theta I will write pi by 2 plus phi and you can see in the second quadrant <coughs> the sign is positive and sign pi by pi plus theta or sign pi plus any acute angle it will be changed in cos sign is changed in cos cos is changed in sign when we have sign of pi plus pi by 2 plus theta pi by 2 minus theta it's like that so it will be cos phi sin square theta is equal to cos square phi now what we will do in this matrix in place of cos square theta we will write sin square phi because we have proved cos square theta equals to sin square phi and similarly in place of cos theta we will write this in place of sin theta we will write cos phi you can see here what we are going to do. I will write the LHS. This is LHS. What is our LHS? It is cos square theta, cos theta, sin theta, cos theta, sin theta, sin square theta, then close, then the next it's cos square phi it's cos phi sine phi then here we have cos phi sine phi and here it is sine square phi then i will close this matrix this equal to in place of cos square theta cos square theta i will write sine square phi And in place of cos theta, what is that? It's minus sine phi. And in place of sine theta, that is cos phi. <clears throat> Similarly here, it will be minus sine phi. 
and cos phi and here in place of sin square phi that will be cos square phi so what we did in this step we changed this cos square theta we wrote it sin square phi because we have proved here in this problem in this question cos square theta is also equal to sin square phi and here it is cos theta sin theta we wrote minus sin phi cos phi because in place of cos theta you can see we have written minus sin phi and in place of sin theta we have written cos phi similarly sin square theta that is cos square phi <clears throat> now here it is cos square phi cos phi sin phi here it's cos phi sin phi and it's sin square phi now next what we are going to do as you can see now this is there are two rows and two columns here also two rows and two columns the matrix is of the order 2 cross 2 and this is also of the order 2 into 2 two rows and two columns now we will find the product of these two matrices you can see here I will find here I will write here the first member is sin square phi into cos square phi that is sin square phi cos square phi then plus then this second member of this row minus sin phi cos phi into cos phi sin phi what will be that that will be minus sin square phi cos square phi now next same row and second column sin square phi into cos phi sin phi that will be sin cube phi cos phi then plus now next minus sin phi cos phi into sin square phi it will be minus sin cube phi cos phi now the next now this second row minus sin phi cos phi into cos square phi that will be minus sin phi cos q phi now next cos square phi into this cos phi sin phi that will be plus sin phi cos q phi and next minus sin phi cos phi to this column this column you can see here it's minus sin square phi cos square phi minus sin square phi cos square phi then plus cos square phi into sin square phi that is sin square phi cos square phi you can see here this is plus this is minus this is plus this is minus this is minus this is plus finally you can see we will get 0 by 0 here 0 and here 0 so the answer is 0 which equals to or hs we can say hence proved we have proved the result now the question number two is if a is equal to this matrix and b is this matrix then verify a b the it is the transpose of a b equals to multiplication of transpose of b and transpose of a that this a b is actually first the multiplication of a b and then transpose of a b so first we will multiply we will find the multiplication of a and b you can see here i will write <coughs> a b equals to what is a it is 2 minus 1 2 1 3 and minus 4 and what is b you can see here it is 1 
माइनस थ्री फाइव माइनस टू जीरो एंड फोर दिस मैट्रिक्स हैज टू रोज एंड थ्री कॉलम्स सो वी कैन से द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स इज टू इंटू थ्री एंड दिस मैट्रिक्स हैज थ्री रोज दिस इज वन रो टू रो सेकेंड रो एंड थर्ड रो दैट इज थ्री रोज एंड टू कॉलम्स यू कैन सी हियर द हॉरिजेंटल नंबर आर द रोज एंड द वर्टिकल आर द कॉलम्स यू नो दैट बेसिक्स सो दिस इज थ्री इंटू टू so what is the order of this matrix that is 3 into 2 now see here we will find the product of a and b here you can see the order of the matrix is 2 into 3 here it is 3 into 2 the resultant matrix will be of the order 2 into 2 that's the resultant matrix will have two mat uh, two rows and two columns what will be they will be like this C one two and C sorry C one one C one two and C two one C two two understand this what is this C one one C one one this one is actually the first row and one is the first column this one here it is first row and this is the second column and here it is second row and first column here it is second row second column understand here understand here this is first row and first column now see how we will do this let's start the first row is having the three elements 2 minus 1 2 and the first column is having the three what we will do 2 into 1 that is 2 plus Minus three into my mi minus one into minus three. That is three plus two into five. What is that? Ten. Sorry. Yes, ten. Now next, uh, that is next is first row and second column. That is two into two. That is what four. But minus four. Minus one into zero plus that is zero. Then two into four. That is what eight. Now see the next two. That is C two one. That is second row and first column. One into one is one plus three into minus three. That's minus nine plus minus four into five. That is minus twenty. What I did here. This is the second row and this is the first column. And the next two is second row and second column. That's one into minus two. That's minus two plus. Three into zero, that is zero plus minus four into four, that's minus sixteen. Now doing the addition, we will get here. It is fifteen, and here it is four, and here it is minus twenty-eight, and here it is minus eighteen. So this is the multiplication of A B. Now we will find the transpose of A B. That's A B dash. Which is equal to what? How we are finding the transpose? That's very easy. We are just changing the rows and columns. See this fifteen and four. This is the row. We will make it column. That is fifteen and four minus. This is first row. It we will make it first column. Then it's minus twenty eight minus eighteen. This is second row. We will make it second column. That's minus twenty eight and minus eighteen. so this is ab dash we will keep it as first so next we will find first we will find b dash that is transpose of b you can see here what is b here it is 1 minus 2 minus 3 0 5 4 how many columns are there two columns how many rows are there Three rows. So what we are doing in the transpose, we are making rows as columns. You can see here, the first row we will make first column one minus two. Second row we will make second column that is minus three and zero. The fourth, third row we will make third column that's five four. And B transpose equals to. You can see here. Two minus one, 
2. This is the first row. We will make it here first column. 2 minus 1, 2. Just interchange rows in columns. Column to row, row to column. Here second row it is 1, 3, minus 4. We will write it 1, 3, minus 4. What change we made? Here this was the row and this in this transpose we made it as column. Here this was a row, we made it column. You can see here, this is three, 2 into 3, the order of the matrix, 2 rows, 3 columns. This has 3 rows and 2 columns. When we will find B dash A dash, that will be of the order 2 cross 2. You can see here, I will write here 1 minus 2 minus 3 0 and 5 4 next I will write here 2 minus 1 2 1 3 minus 4 then we will find the product how we will find the multiplication you know as we did here similarly we have to do here you can see what is here it is 1 1 into 2 that is 2 plus minus 3 into minus 1 that is 3 plus 5 into 2 that is 10 now next 1 into 1 that is 1 minus 1 into minus 3 that is minus 9 plus 5 into minus 4 that is minus 20 now next second row and the first column second row and the second column that will be last element minus 2 into 2 that's minus 4 plus 0 into minus 1 is 0 plus 4 into 2 is 8 and here once again minus 2 into 1 that is minus 2 0 into 3 plus 0 then plus 4 into minus 4 that is minus 16 and finally you will see this is equal to here it is 15 and here it is minus 28 and here it is 4 and here it is minus 18 this is second now you can see here the AB dash first what is the matrix 15 4 minus 28 minus 18 all rows and columns are equal two rows and columns two rows and columns and the same elements are here in the rows and columns same elements are here so we can finally write from first and second a b dash equals to b dash a dash you can see here if i is this matrix and e is this matrix show that a i plus b e whole cube is equal to a q y plus a 3 a square b e we have to prove this relation here we will take this a i plus b e you can see here it's easy question a i plus b e and a is here in place of i i will write this matrix that's 1 0 0 and 1 and now this plus I am writing then B is there then in place of E I will write this matrix 0 0 1 0 now I will see here what will become it it is A 0 0 A after multiplying with A plus 0 0 0 B after multiplying with B we will get this now we will add this and finally we will get A 0 it's A 0 B it's B and 0 0 it's only the 0 A 0 it's only the A so this is the addition of this now I will do, now I will do scaling first it's A I plus B E whole scale what is that it is a0 ba into 
A0 BA. I will check the result. What will be the result? See, since you can see here, this is 2 cross 2, 2 cross 2. That means the order of the matrix is 2 into 2 and here it is 2 into 2. Now you can see here, we will take the first row from here and here first column. That's A into A, that's A squared plus then B into 0, that is 0. Now next, A into B, A into B that is AB plus B into A that's again AB then here 0 into A that is 0 plus A into 0 that's only 0 now next 0 into B that is 0 plus A into A that is A squared so what will be it? Finally, it's A square, it's 2AB here, AB plus AB, 2AB, here it is 0, here it's A square. Now next, I will do QB, that's AI plus BE whole cube. This I can write, AI plus BE whole square AI plus BE that's it because this cube what does it mean this is cube here this is square this is here power 1 so instead of this that means I am replacing this value by this because AI plus BE whole square is equal to this matrix I am writing this matrix here this is A square 0 2 AB and A square and this value I will replace by this matrix because AI plus B is equal to this that is A 0 B A now I will do here the multiplication of the two matrix A square this is first row and first column A square into A that's A cube it will be equal to A cube plus then 2ab into 0 that is 0 now next a square into b that is a square b plus 2ab into a that is 2a square b the here you have to understand the things very clearly now this was first row with the first column and corresponding first element of the first row i multiplied with first element of the first column then plus second element of the first row I multiplied with the second element of the first column that is that there then again first row with the second column now first row with first column that's 0 into a that's what 0 plus a square into 0 that's second row first column a square into 0 that is all also 0 now 0 into B that is 0 plus a square into a that is a cube so what is this now this is equal to a cube a square B 2 a square B this is 3 a square B here it is 0 here it's a cube This matrix I can expand once again. You can see here what I will do. I will write a cube 0 0 a cube plus now here it is 0 here it is 3 a square b here it is 0 and here again it is 0 see here what I did here I expand it a cube 3 a square b 0 a cube here a cube a cube here is a cube a cube then 0 0 and similarly what I did here 0 0 
because a cube a cube is here and 3a square b now i can take here a cube outside the matrix here it will be 1 0 is there 0 is there here it is 1 plus i can take 3a square b outside the matrix here it is 0 0 here it is 1 here it is 0 now as per the given you can see it is a cube and this matrix is actually i so i can write this i plus now 3a square b this matrix is nothing it is e it's given e i will write here e so in this way i can write th therefore a i plus b e cube whole cube equals to a cube i plus 3 a square b e. This is the answer of the question.